guys, welcome back to my channel, Sarah here, another 30 inks for your days. It is a raining hard outside, so I hope that isn't too loud. I have filmed before in the rain um, in this room and it doesn't seem to come out of me through, so I'm hoping that's the case today. But this was yesterday, Colorverse Marsham. Not an ink I am really gravitating towards, to be honest, but onwards and upwards, let's go for today. What if we try and get another one of these small ones? Toucan Violet. So I've used Toucan Sienna before and that is in here. Maybe I'll cheat again and just do that one tomorrow. Um, from Pen Friend G. We did a, at the Pelican Hubs, we did a bit of an ink swap. Um, <clears throat> and I said if I could have some more Toucan Sienna, that would be awesome because I really enjoyed writing with it. And then he had a, he has a few toucans actually, and he gave me a sample of this one as well. So it's in the name. I'm going to think that this is a purpley colour. It's a bit hard to tell in the small vials if it's like leaning one way or the other. But why don't we jump straight in? My last few videos have been a bit long. I try, um, like I really don't want. 30 inks, 30 days videos going over 10 minutes, but I think my last ones have almost been like nine. Um, so sometimes I try and then do some others that are a bit on the smaller side, smaller, sort of, whoop, shorter side as well. So nice purple that is coming through. I am the first thing that's jumping out at me is I go, is it going to be too light in a writing sample? And I, I, I do wonder, maybe I'll zoom in for you so you can see a bit more. Maybe I can put a couple more dots in here. It's very lovely though. On the warmer side, it's just a, it's a quite a soft um, color, a little bit florally even, um, quite beautiful, but I'm just, yeah, I am wondering. So let's have a look here and see. I don't know if anyone else gets this. Oh, it's actually not that light. Oh, that's awesome. That's a positive. Um, does anyone, does, when people have ink on their hands, does it stay on there for days? It does not matter how much I wash. It's like it stains the skin and then slowly drifts away. And it, won't, it doesn't transfer onto other things, but it just stays for days and days and days. So first impressions is that it is actually writing darker than I thought it would, which I like. It's a lovely colour. It doesn't have, I think, the levels of depth that some of the other ones have. Um, that's not a, that's more of a neutral comment, I think. Um, but yeah, I think you can see you're going to get some nice shading depending on the pen. But let's do a longer sample here. doesn't feel like an overly wet ink. Apparently I missed out on an E. I stuffed this up so many times. It's nice. Oh, look, I actually don't have too much to say about it because it, I don't know, it's not that it's not speaking to me, but I, and I love purples at the moment, but I think there's so many other purples that are layered and a bit more complex that I'm drawn towards. Um, the one that's jumping out at me in terms of what does it look like is the uh, Papaya Lavender Vinter Inks and Cult Pens Exclusive. That one is a touch cooler and darker and, and has quite a bit more shading. Um, I don't understand how I keep messing this up every time. Six, there, yes. That one starts there, yes. That one at the 12, yes.
But I jinxed myself the other day by saying that me and this pen are finally getting along. <laughs> this uh, dip pen, sorry. And now it's going to feel a bit weird. Do you know what? The ink I think is actually, it's not that it's not a wet ink. I think it is on the drier side. Um, by the end of that there, it was feeling a, like like a bit of a drag to get it off the nib onto the page. It goes down warmer and dries cooler. Um, you're really not getting much shading in there. And I'll pull out my um, papaya lavender swatch in a second to show you what it is I, in my mind at least, I'm comparing it to. But let's do this one. I feel like for people who use ink for art, this could be a really nice option. There's a, a softness to it, which is re really lovely. Just not something I'm, I think right now, overly drawn to for, for writing. So while this dries, I will just grab my swatches. Winter. Yeah, now that I've seen that, this one actually looks significantly darker, but maybe focus more on the, the writing sample. No, that is quite dark, much darker. Well, that was a bad sentence, but you know what I mean. Nothing else is really jumping out at me to similar right now. Uh, I think uh, Sailor 335 is going to be too pinky and saturated compared to this. So maybe there is a place. This has got a kind of nice black halo that's starting to to come up now um, all right what I'll do is I'll do the um, measuring cup and then I'll show you a close-up of both we love that it's middle of November and I'm wearing the jumper it's cold at least today it's cold I'm gonna do maybe a big one there what if I do a big one When I was in Queensland for work, it was like 33 degrees and so humid. Oh, I struggled so much. I really don't like the heat in general. And then that plus the humidity was just, oh, it was so intense. I don't know what 33 is in Fahrenheit, but you know what? The rest of the world uses Celsius, so I don't need to know what it is in Fahrenheit. Ooh, shots fired. This is... Toucan Sienna. Um, that'll be it for today. Did a bit of a weird spacing thing there, didn't I? Oh, well, don't need to overthink it. I'll show you this page again, do a bit of a close-up for you. Sorry that I don't have too much to say, and I didn't end up making this a shorter video because we're on eight minutes. So I'll stop yapping on for now and I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>